Hey everybody, Jay Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym. I am here with IFBB Classic Physique Pro, Tony Tavares. I said it right, Yes, right? sir. T yes, Tavares. sir. Yes. Okay, so it's been about a year since I've seen you mm -hmm. yeah. on stage. That's right. It yeah. was uh, the NPC. last July at Universe where I took yes. the overall. Mm -hmm. Yep. And let me just tell you, you didn't look like this then. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's what bodybuilding's all about. So yeah, we definitely, you know, after that show, and m many people don't know that going into that show, I had two hernias. Oh wow. Going on, I had a I had an umbilical hernia that opened up at about ten weeks out that I was just trying to get through, and I had a sports hernia in my groin, so I couldn't squat the same going into the show. I couldn't do core the same. So. You know, after that show, we said, okay, what are the things we got to improve? And as soon as, as soon as my surgery was done, because I had surgery days after. Okay. You know, 21 days after that surgery, I was working. And I was looking to make improvements. You know, mainly the focus was on my legs. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, everything, the, the upper body, the, I mean, I've been watching you, of course, on Instagram. Yes, sir. But we know a lot of that's filtered. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> I don't filter anything. Maybe some colors, but I don't enhance anything. <laughs> it's the real muscle. <laughs> At least he says that. Yeah. No. <laughs> Just <kidding. laughs> so anyways, what have you been doing in the past year besides waiting for a contest? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there, there's been a been a lot going on personally or yes. just, just yes. work with. So yeah, personally. Uh, I actually I'm part owner of a roofing company, so we've we've been growing and scaling that business. You know, you know, this year with COVID and everything hitting, you know, we had the mentality that we weren't going to get in a shell. We weren't going to be a, a company that would uh, disintegrate because right. of COVID. We actually took the stance that we were going to expand. So I've been really we've been really really working hard at that recruiting and growing that company tell everybody the name of your company yeah it's linear roofing and general contractors in dfw and we're currently one of the top re-roofing insurance claim companies in in the u.s but definitely in dfw besides that uh, i got signed uh, for a series with hgtv to be a gc on one of the newest shows coming up so we've been filming for that so between work and filming you know there's been a lot going on besides making sure every single week I'm knocking out my goals with my body physically to get ready for my pro debut. So how much is this going to cost for an autograph now since you're going to be a oh, TV nothing. star? You're nothing for you. <laughs> nothing for you. <laughs> okay, but for everybody else. <laughs> Maybe a couple dollars. <laughs> well, Here pretty soon. That, that, that's great. I mean, yes, sir. So when's the perspective of uh, airing dates? Uh, early next year okay. is what we're looking at at this point. So. Uh, COVID has kind of shut some things down and stopped filming a little bit here and there, but we're looking at early next year to to uh, uh, come out the gates on yeah. TV, on HGTV. Right. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. I, uh, that's going to be fun. Yep. I'm going to be flipping the channels going, hey, I know that guy. I know that guy. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Whole different world. You know. Now, tell us a little bit about your training. I mean, because you've got some hardcore videos up. I yeah. mean, you go balls through wall yeah I mean I could I could see that yeah you can't fake that yeah you can't yeah. filter that yeah for <laughs> sure you can't <laughs> and uh, it actually stems from my football days okay you know, it stems from you know and, and it's funny because I'll tell you a little something here about my nickname too which a lot of people don't know it stems from when I was in high school playing cop playing football and I found the love of football and I became a middle linebacker and and I went to a high school in Texas, a small country town, small little 3A school, and our mascot was a goat. Okay. The Grosbeck Goats was my high school. Okay. So, you know, we moved there when I was in middle school, and I'm like, we moved from like a bulldog, and I was like, Dad, you know, why do we have to go from a bulldog to a goat? <laughs> and he's like, son. Are you are you retarded? And he's like, goat beats greatest of all time. <laughs> he's like, that is amazing. That's Ali. That's Jordan. That's Tom Brady. That's the best in their field. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so ever since high school, I was nicknamed the goat. I became the captain of my football team as a sophomore before I even played a down in varsity. I was right. voted a captain going into that season. And it was because of the work ethic. It was because of what the guys around me saw in the gym right. and how hard that I worked in the gym. So I think it really stemmed from my middle linebacker days. I played college football at North Texas. Well, let's be honest. I mean, 
Texas high school football is yeah. no joke. It's serious. I mean, everybody knows that. If you don't know that, then don't really follow football. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, so, so yeah, that was Except my Except for Western Pennsylvania football, but that's a whole other subject. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Had to throw the Pittsburgh yes, in there, sir. you know. <laughs> so, so, yeah. So, about the training, though, you know, as I progressed and started to understand training a little more, you know, I, I, I really look to, you know, when I think about it, it's like we're creating an injury in the muscle. We're, we're, we're tearing down muscle fibers to the fullest and we're trying to recruit more. So for me, I've always had the mentality, I can't do the same type of workouts. I can't get right. my body the same type of stuff every single week. So we look to push the limit. You know, we look to do, I, I typically don't even do rep ranges in that four to six to eight range. It's like, I'm going heavy in my last sets, but I'm going for, 10 to 12 to 15 i'm going for as many as i can do right so you know we're, we mix it up a lot and uh to grow my legs this last year you know when we started the growth phase i mean i was hitting legs three days a week and oh I was, wow that's i was blasting legs monday wednesday friday and that was my weakness wait wait so how are you able to work <laughs> in the morning you know right, yeah right now i get up at 4 30 in the morning right now now that i'm in the ending phase where now it's about bringing down body fat this last four weeks. Yeah. I'm literally up at 4.30 and I'm doing 40 minutes of fasted cardio walk in the hills before I eat my breakfast. Right. And then I'm doing another 20 minutes of cardio with my lifting. So I have an hour of cardio, an hour of lifting done before 9 a.m. And then I'm working in the evening on my right. body. So typically it's at least three hours a day on my body, but I have all of midday to do my work and filming and all of that because I sandwich it Right. with the uh, the training. Right. Yes, sir. So there's a lot of hills like where you live, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that's good, good for the cardio. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people think Texas is flat, but mm -mm. I know, I know it is. Yeah, there's some nice areas. Yes, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yes, sir. So now, Tony was supposed to be here back in what, April, right? Uh-huh, that was before the New York Pro was yes. happened in May. Yeah, uh -huh. so he was supposed to, so this is, he's finally got here now. Yep. You know? Yep. Yeah, it was going to be the, it was going to be the New York Pro, then I was doing the Puerto Rico Pro here in about four weeks, and then yeah. that, that had to be postponed due to everything. So now we go to Savannah, Georgia, at a beautiful resort, uh, and I'm, I'm really excited to be there. Pro debut. Yes, sir. This yes, is sir. it. This is it. Everything you've been working for. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So... Do you have training partners? Do you have a trainer? Give us a little bit of background on everybody that you work with. Yes, so I had a different approach than I, I guess maybe some people in the game. You know, some people hire one person to do it all. You know, and, and for some people that works great. Um, but for me, I wanted more of an approach where I had specialists, so to speak. Okay. Where they specialize in that one thing and they have to take care of that. And they take the guesswork for me out of it. So. You know, I have a nutritionist who all he has to focus on is getting my nutrition dialed in right. and making sure my conditioning is going to be on point with my food. And so we're communicating every week. And that's his only sole purpose on the team. So Stephen Mass is my nutrition coach. He's been working with me since my first show two years ago. Uh, Harold Bright, who's one of my good buddies who owns a gym. Steel Jungle down in Arlington, about 10 minutes from where What's I up, live. Harold? I've done it for a long time. Yes, sir. He turned, he turned <laughs> pro as well last year. My coach yeah. turned pro right after me, so that yeah. was pretty amazing in Pittsburgh. But he's uh, he does my training and regimen, and I, I train with him hands-on in the mornings. And uh, he's given me great insight to bodybuilding and how to build muscle and how to work on my weaknesses. So training mainly with Harold and then my posing coach, which... You know, the one well, that's what you were known for at the, at the universe. I yeah. mean, everybody was going crazy over your routine. It was yeah. a great routine. Thank you. Thank you. And the crazy thing is, posing was my weakest link when I started the sport. Wow. I've only done three shows. Right. And it was like, I was so awkward in my first session two years ago, I didn't think I was going to be able to do the sport. Because I was yeah. like, I couldn't flare my lats. I couldn't hit a side chest. I couldn't do just about anything. I was so robotic. And so... Uh, I actually hired Ray Baker, who we've connected really, really well. He's down in De at Destination Dallas in Texas. He's posed a lot of Olympians. He's had a lot of people on, on his team go to the Olympia. But he, he just, the way that he connects you with your center and you find your own flow, uh, I've gotten very, very comfortable. Because the one yeah. show that I lost, I, I, I lost because of posing. And after that show, I said, no, 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 no. We're gonna fix that. That's never gonna happen again. And that was Miami Nationals, which was my second. Whoa, show. whoa, 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 whoa! 
Because uh, Miami Nationals, that's my big, that's my big pet peeve. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> my, my apologies. It's the NBC Nationals. NBC Nationals. In, in Miami. In I don't Miami. know. That's it. Interview's over. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> but yeah. Everybody, it is the NBC Nationals in Miami. Okay. Got it. No chip. <laughs> Will not make that mistake again. <laughs> but yeah, so after that show, I hired Ray. Okay. And I've been working with Ray for now a year and a half, and uh, we're really going to dial in this routine. I mean, we've been, we've been playing with this routine for about six months, so the music, you know, when I, when I get ready for a show now, I literally play my finals routine music probably in my head 500 times. I mean, I'm literally playing it while I'm driving, I'm playing it in the so morning. So you use a lot of visualization. A lot of, I'm going through my steps right. 500 times, never to mention physically. At the end here, we'll do even more physically. And then right. during peak week, we'll be hitting it all the time. But I mean, it's like if you're not dialed in and almost obsessed with your routine, then when you're up on the stage, if you're nervous or you have moments of, of anything, you're going to forget what you're doing right. and you're just going to show. But if you've done it 500 times in your head, it's like, this right. is nothing. This is easy. This is like yeah. brushing my teeth. This is like tying my shoes. So that's how I want to be. Well, I'm also glad you brush your teeth a lot. Yes. So. yes. <laughs> I keep them white. <laughs> that's good for the stage too, folks. That's the tip from the go. <laughs> well, is there anybody else that you want to give uh, a shout out to? Or anybody you want to trash talk? I mean, you can... <laughs> <laughs> Anyone want to trash talk? Not uh, yet. I have some people in mind after this show, after we take care of business, yes. yeah, and then I go back to the drawing board and I work. I'm already, it's like, I'm already, after this next show, my plan is to go win. You yes. know, my plan is to, to go one and done. And well, listen, if you're not planning yeah. to go win, then you shouldn't be in the contest. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's any, that's any contest. Yeah, so I, I, don't, I don't know how people can go into a show and say, oh, you know, I just like to make first call outs. Like, I'm not training for that. I'm training to win. Yeah. So, you know, when that happens and we execute, then I'm already thinking, okay, there's already things I want to work on. You know, so right. we get the qualification. There's already things immediately after that show that I got to go work on to be better for the Olympia if right. we're able to make that. So, right. uh, yeah, that's the plan and that's the mentality. That's a winner's mentality. Right. So, but yeah, like I said, is there anybody that you want to give a, give a shout out to here or? I mean, we've mentioned, you know, the people you train yeah, with. Yeah, I, I, I would say, yeah, my team, uh, you know, Stephen, Harold, and Ray, and also, you know, you have uh, uh, Flexi Brown. You know, she was actually the first person that ever got me in a posing room. Uh, she was the one that was in my first posing sessions and really taught me the foundation of posing, taught me the basics. And uh, so I really want to give a shout out to her. She's been great. She's always been supportive, always giving me good advice in the sport. And I want to thank the IFBB Pro League and you guys for allowing me to compete in such a great uh, competitive sport and arena. Now that football's gone, it's like this right. is something that can really get my juices flowing. And, uh, you know, for me, the sport is about competing and about making myself better and about growing. Yeah. And, that, and that translates into so many other avenues of life. That translates into me being a, a great father to my daughter. You know, th those kind of things. Being a great leader of men. And uh, so for me, I even announced a year ago, I said, any winnings that I have this year, it's like I'm, I'm putting any winnings toward charity, towards a special cause. There's so much going on in the world right. at this point. So I win the show, it's going elsewhere. I don't need the money. Right. It's to go win and perform. And I'm looking to put on one hell of a show in Savannah. All right, so now we have to get to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you're a Cowboys fan. I'm not a Cowboys fan. You are? <laughs> no, I'm not a Cowboys fan. Look at that. Boy, did this just go, your stock just rose. Come no. on, I, I actually don't like the Cowboys. I like I him even like more him. now. <laughs> I've, I've always had friends in Texas that love the Cowboys, and it's like, Mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 maybe I get hung for saying this, but it's like, I, I never really liked Romo. I never really liked the way he carried himself and, and, and the leadership. It, it just wasn't there for me, personally. Well, so who's your favorite football team? I'm more of a fantasy football player now. Okay. You know, I've been in leagues for the last five, six years. So, you know, I love the new quarterbacks coming up, like Patrick Mahomes, uh, Lamar Jackson, Kyler Murray. So there's a lot of fun and excitement there that I see with them. Come on, you have to have somebody that you root for on Sundays. I really don't. Okay. I really don't. Well, there's this team. They've got 
six Super Bowls, but they're black and yellow. They're pretty good. Yeah, yeah the Steelers yeah, are pretty good. You might want to <laughs> look into them, them and check them <laughs> out. I mean, they've had a few good teams over the last few decades. Yeah. And, you know, trounced that Dallas team quite a few times, too. That's true. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were very exciting. I, 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 you know, when Le'Veon Bell, Antonio Brown, they were at prime. With Ross Roethlisberger, you know, I had yeah. I, I had fun watching the Killer Bees. Yeah, oh yeah, they were yeah. they were a blast. I thought they would win it. Yeah, in, in that spot. So yeah, I've, I've enjoyed watching them. No yeah. Doubt. Well, good boy. I didn't realize I like Tony so much more now. <laughs> Even though I have a star. Yeah, but that's from Texas. But that's, that's from Texas. That's that has Texas. nothing to do with the that's, Cowboys. No, no, no. Some yeah. people get it confused. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, I actually kind of thought that anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, all right. Well, this is. J.M. Mannion, Tony Tavares, wishing you good luck in your pro debut. Thank you. And we're signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com. Yes, sir.